Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about function and parabola. First of all, we need to know what is the difference between function and parabola. The difference between a function and parabola is just power, power of x. So x has power 1 in function and x has power 2 in, in parabola. This is the difference between them. So you can give any example, like such as f, a, f of x equals to x plus 1. It can be just like this, g x equals to x, something like this. Anything has like this x and power 1 is function. All right. This could be the same story, f of x equals to 5 x squared plus minus something plus 7. It can be anything. g of x equals to 7 x squared minus 3, etc. Okay, these are going to be parabola because of the power 2. All right. So now, uh, how do we draw graphs for parabola? We have two methods to, to, to draw the graph of parabola. The first one is intercept method. So for the intercept method, you first let x equals to zero and you let y equals to zero. And you are going to get points, three points from there, and then you are going to place on the coordinate system, then you are going to join them by curves. So if you say x equals zero, the y is going to be zero square minus 36, which is going to be at this one zero as you know, and equals to negative 36. I got one point there, which is x, 0 and y negative 36 so if we are going to find two points for from there you will say x square minus 36 equals to 0 because y was 0 after this you have two methods too so you could say that leave the under the row take this one Negative 36, 0, 0. This one plus as positive 36 x squared equals 36, and then you take square root of both sides, and x will be from there 6 and negative 6. So that means you will get one point from here as 6 to 0 and there negative 6 to 0 or you could do like that from there less right there you could say for this x square minus 36 as 2 square equals to 0 and this one will be x minus 6 times x plus 6 equals to 0 and you are going to equalize this one and this one to 0 from there x minus 6 equals to 0 x will be 6 and from there x plus 6 equals to 0 and x is going to be negative 6 and again you are going to have 1 to 2, two points are wrote there already so basically now I got one, two, three points. I told you already when I was starting to solve questions. What do you do? You just place them. So this point, let's say the negative 36 is about there. By the way, according to the coordinate system, this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. And this is the positive side, this is negative side for x, this is positive, this is positive for y, and this one negative side for y and negative 36 let's say is about there 
zero to negative thirty six will be here. Negative thirty six, and the other one six is six to zero, so that will be six less than about there. And the other one negative six to zero, less than about there. Then after that, we are going to join by curves. So that will be something like this. Oh, y, y equals to x square minus 36. All right, my second method is table method. For the table method, you are going to give x three values. So one of them should be zero. One of them should be negative number. Let's say negative one zero and positive one we can change this and this values it doesn't need to be exactly one or uh, negative one and uh, positive one it can be any number negative two positive two even you can change like this negative two positive three is all right but if you choose this number and this number the same is going to be better so now you will say that for x equals to negative 1, x equals to 0, and x equals to positive 1. We are going to get three points from there to and placed on the, the uh, coordinate system and joined to each other. So this one will give you y equals to negative 1 squared minus 36, which is going to be 1 minus 36, which is negative 35 so that is my first value for y negative 35 and the other one y equals to 0 square minus 36 which is going to be 0 minus 36 which is going to be negative 36 this is my second value for y and the last one y equals to 1 square minus 36 which is going to be 1 minus 36 y is going to be neg uh, negative 35 so that is going to be my third point so basically i got one point there which is negative 1 negative 35 and one point there 0 to negative 36 and the other point is 1, 2, negative 35. Just place them on the coordinate system. So that will give me 1, negative 1, 2, negative 35. Let's say negative 1 there. And let's say negative 35 there. So I'm giving the approximate place. There, of course, not certain place. Let's say this is negative 1, 2, negative 35. And this one. One, two, negative thirty-five, and the other one zero two negative thirty-six less than negative thirty-six is approximately there. So look, I got three points. Now I'm going to join to each other by curves. So that will be something like this. So. which is y equals to x square minus 36. So the common mistake for drawing the shape is that students are doing like that. They draw, they try to draw, let me choose yellow color. They throw, draw from there like this. This is totally wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, please not. This is totally wrong. It can't be pass, uh, pass it through the negative one. All right, this must be like that. This wrong one. Okay, so now let's have a look at another question. For this one, see, f, x is, f of x is given. It can be anything. This is representing y on the coordinate system. It 
can be any letter, doesn't matter, F, G, H, whatever is there, is represent Y. So you can write like this basically, Y equals to negative X, X plus one, instead of F of X equals to negative X times bracket X plus one. And then we are going to open this bracket. That will give you y equals to negative x squared negative x and it's up to you to whether you use the table method or the intercept method so if you want to use intercept method you should leave it like this if you want to use table method you should open the bank it is up to you let me use for this question table method so now, now let me give values which are i gave negative one uh, zero and positive one in previous question for this one let me change it let me give negative two zero positive two and someone is thinking now can't i give like the zero negative two negative three or zero positive two positive three something like this do i need to give negative and positive no of course you can give like that like what they say zero positive two positive three or zero negative two negative three but it's better to use one negative one positive and zero is better it's going to be easy to solve and to draw the, 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 the graph so from there i will say for x equals to negative two for x equals to zero and x equals to positive two that will give me y equals to negative negative two square minus negative two this one will be y equals to negative zero negative zero this one will be y equals to negative two square minus positive two so from there i will get y equals to negative four and this one will be will be positive from integers which is going to give me negative two so this is my first value negative two to negative two and the other one this one will be zero which is zero to zero and this one will give me negative four this will be this will be negative from integers so which is going to be negative six or y so i'm going to just place them the first one negative two to negative two let's say approximately about yeah negative two negative two which is going to be somewhere there and the other one is zero to zero somewhere there and the other one negative and uh, positive two to positive two to negative six negative six somewhere like let's say negative six there and positive two so will be somewhere there see i got really interesting points just i'm going to join them by curve which is going to be something like this I'm trying to draw a curved graphs. Oh, so that will be f x equals to negative x times x plus one. So another thing to know is that so let's say y equals to a x plus minus b something like this if your coefficient so let me put x squared there your coefficient in front of x squared is it is negative which is smaller than zero it the shape will be something like this so basically it's going to be set face see the arrows are going to be upside down if it is 
bigger than zero is going to be opposite way around, something like this nature. So the arms are going to be up. So it's going to be happy face. So we have another question. The methods are depending on you. So for example, for this question, I want to use intercept method. For me, the intercept method is going to be easier than table method for this question. So what I do, I will let x equals to zero and I will let y equals to zero. So if I say x equals to zero, y is going to be two times x square, zero square minus 18, which is going to be zero minus 18, which is negative 18. And from there, if I say y equals to zero, that will be 2x squared minus 18 equals to zero. And then uh, I can use two methods. Remember, I told you you can leave down in a row, or you can use this formula a squared minus b squared, a minus b times a plus b. It is from factorization. So I want to use the second one, not this, the other one. I leave the unknown alone. So this one to the other side as positive 2x squared equals to 18. And this to the other side as the region, x squared equals to 9. And then I'm going to take square root of both sides. That will give me x equals to positive 3 and x equals to negative 3. All right, now, so I got three points. My first point is 0 to negative 18. The other point is 3 to 0. And the other point is negative 3 to 0. So just I'm going to place them on the correlate system. The first one is 0 to negative 18. Let's see somewhere there. Negative 18. And the 3 to, 3 to 0, negative 3 to 0, negative 3 to 0, plus 3 somewhere there, and 3 to 0 somewhere there. Then we are going to join them by curves. So that's going to be something like this. As I said, I'm trying to draw accurately. So it will be y equals to. 2x squared minus 18. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye.